that's the definition of a pop-up right there. You just make it happen wherever you can. If it's in the back of a truck or in Java jungle, you make it happen. I feel great. Me, Adam Bronson, we're gonna kick ass. This refrigeration unit, the condenser, like, I think it, it rains like every half an hour. Beer, clams, roasted tomatoes, poblanos, right? He's roasting the poblanos right now, right? Fried eggs, done. Red wine, bone marrow sauce, done. Leeks, mirepoix. Pork belly, seared scallops, scallops, pork belly, parsnip puree. We gotta roast off those mushrooms. Truffle is in the foam. And, ooh, there's parcini dust right up there next to your truffles. So that's just a little sexy sexy on top. Steak and potatoes, done. Not bad for a deli with an oven yeah. that serves coffee. Hell, give us a real kitchen and see what happens. Scallops. You have a parsnip puree on the bottom, pickled beets and apples, a little bit of microgreens, and a nage, which is basically the pickling juice when you add it. We reduce that down with a little bit of butter, give it a little zing. And the cocktail that it's paired with is a pear, pear teeny. I know they're not martini glasses. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so this is our consomme course. This is our version of a mushroom soup. So what we did was we made a consomme, which is a clarified soup, uh, soup broth. So that's like intense mushroom flavor. And then we did a truffle foam on top, and then a little porcini dust. We also have some raw and fried mushrooms in there as well. Some of them are gnocchis, uh, shiitakes, hens of the forest. So if you mix it up, it becomes cream of mushroom soup. But it's like it's a different, different take on it. It's something fun and creative right there. <laughs> this is the brainchild of me and Adam. Everybody in town has steak and potatoes. So what we did was basically is we took pot roast and wrapped it in a potato with a little bit of a sauce. The sauce is to mimic a Bernays. Bernays, Bernays is usually an egg sauce. Uh, now this one is the one with a lot of molecular things going on that. And I'm gonna let Adam explain that a little bit just to give you guys an idea what's going on. Now the molecular component is a chemical called transglutaminase, but chefs like to call it meat glue. We were able to make pot roast into a shape. And so we wrapped in potato and we breaded, we breaded the bottom, uh, flour, egg, and instead of using breadcrumbs, I used instant potatoes. So potato on potato, and, and like Ben said, the, the Bernays deconstruction, all, all the components still make it on the plate, it's just not classically prepared, so. Thank you. We follow that up with a different take on a tiramisu. Everybody, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, has had a tiramisu, which is layered, lady fingers, mascarpone, coffee. This is the same thing, but we wanted to do different shapes and do different textures with that as well. A couple of the concepts we're thinking about, one of them is called dining in the dark, where you'll come in, you won't see anything, we're gonna blindfold you, and you're gonna, you're gonna experience the food by tasting it. 